cancer. Well, he thinks he can do that, has he? Mainly sees this as a health-related issue that falls under his responsibility. As we know, tensions have escalated in the past few hours. As speaking in a press conference yesterday, the governor said that he would wait a few more hours, and then if the government did not respond, then he would announce the closure of all reception centers. And he said that it's the state's responsibility, actually, to then relocate uh, all migrants who, up until today, have been staying in those overcrowded uh, reception uh, centers. Uh, so things are eating up indeed. Uh, he, uh, he been threatened actually to appeal against the government's decision in court. Uh, a similar counter move is being planned uh, by the government that will hold a special uh, and urgent cabinet meeting uh, on the matter. Here is what the governor himself had to say on the matter. Take a listen. I work according to my conscience. I do what I think is right and not what I think is useful. I have a duty to safeguard the health of those who live in Sicily and of those migrants that the state is piling up in silence. Instead, the Sicilians are asked to respect the security measures of one meter and to wear masks with a series of sacrifices and precautions that appear to be in absolute contradiction with the behavior of the federal state. So far, we have been cooperating and we would like to continue to do so. But the Italian state has shown absolute indifference, silence and omission. The government position on this is very clear. Italy's interior ministry said that uh, migration is a central government prerogative, to which the governor of Sicily responded that actually this is not about migration, but rather about health issues, about ensuring the social distancing is respected uh, within those centers. The governor, though, clarified that he does not want to create tensions between Rome and the region, but he claimed that Rome had ignored the region's request on a number of occasions in the past, Alistair.